Hi, my name is Alan Edwards and in this Estranged Development blog video I'm going to show you uh, some advancements that we've made with the menu in Estranged Act 2. Now here is the, the menu so far, you'll see it's very similar to the Estranged Act 1 menu. Um, this, is, this is completely written with, uh, with UMG, uh, this is uh, Epix, uh, Unreal Motion Graphics. So this is, this, is their, this is their UI framework. So you can see here we have uh, options for screen resolution. Uh, it allows you to change the screen resolution there and the, the window mode. It also allows you to change graphic settings and graphic setting updates are done live. So if we, if we turn down post-processing, you'll see that the, uh, oops, shouldn't do that. The screen space ambient occlusion disappeared there. We can turn it back up, see it's back on. Uh, you can also turn down the, the shadows, which is quite noticeable because here we have a stationary light shining through this opening here onto this foliage. Uh, so we'll put that back on Epic. Uh, you can also turn the, uh, the AA quality to uh, your custom mode, so we'll change that to temporal. Uh, and we'll put it back to FX AA. So that's something you can do. You can also completely disable it here and change the quality level for it. You see when you disable, you get the jagged lines around models. So we'll put that all on high and we'll, yeah, we'll use FXA. So let's just do a little bit of an overview uh, showing how this works. So we have BP main menu here. Uh, inside here we have a switcher, uh, which allows you to show one child widget at a time. So you see that we have this main here, this is our main menu. Let's have a look at the event handler for the options button. Uh, when you click that, it sets the active widget on the switcher to be options. And, uh, and then we have the options child here. Uh, let's have a look at one of the, the controls on the graphics options uh, uh, a child here. So, so if we go here and we click on view for the event handler for on AA method changed, uh, we can see that we're setting the anti-aliasing method on our graphics save. I'll go into that a bit later. I'll just quickly show you the, the control for, for the AA method here. So this actually uses BP menu drop-down, so it's a generic uh, drop-down control that I made to make all of the drop-downs consistent, so they all use this, uh, this control. And you see it's just a, it's a thin wrapper around uh, the UMG drop-down control. It just adds some spacing and sets font sizes, etc. So um, you'll see that uh, we handle the on selection changed event for the drop-down box here, and uh, we then pass that up if it was a if it was not a a, a direct selection set because we don't want to uh, alert the code above this on uh, when the selection is changed using code. Uh, so that passes that event up. We handle it here. So this is our on set a method. Uh, uh, code. So we'll, uh, this is this is just some setup because we don't need to localize these variables. We just pull straight out of our anti-aliasing method enum there, uh, so we can we don't have to actually local because those strings won't be localized. It's a it's a it's a technical uh, term for what it is. You can't really localize that. Um, so we'll just fish those right out of the enum. Uh, that way, if we if we change that enum, the menu will be updated automatically. Uh, so when we when we get this on selection changed event. We then uh, convert the index to uh, a byte, and then we convert it to uh, our enum, which is anti-aliasing method enum, uh, because the the index because uh, because we created this menu option from this anti-aliasing enum, uh, we can then fish out and convert back the uh, index of the option to the uh, enum member again, and then again we pass that event back up and that gets handled in the menu. So if we go here and view the event handler for on a method changed, uh, this is what we went into earlier, it sets the anti-aliasing method on the graphics save. So let's go into the graphics save. Uh, this is just a, uh, it, it inherits from a custom BP save base, um, but that is just a save game. Uh, all this does is, is establishes that, uh, this, uh, that, there's, that there's a slot name that all of the uh, child blueprints from this will define and there's an apply event that they all have to implement. So graphic save implements the apply event. Uh, when it's called it goes ahead and goes through a sequence of things. Uh, so for anti-aliasing for the settings here it uh, selects, does a select on the anti-aliasing setting. Uh, so whatever it's set to, if it's set to low then it gets this string 
if it's medium it gets that string etc etc and then it passes this straight through to the engine and executes it as a command so that updates the the rendering system live this is also persisted to disk uh, these enum uh, values are serialized and then and saved as a blob but we don't we don't touch any of that in the blueprints because uh, all that happens here is that uh, when you when you go ahead and uh, and change these settings they get applied and then we call this save to slot which is just a just a helper a thin wrapper around uh, save game to slot using the slot name in that uh, save class so we don't actually have to manage any of the serialization of the the settings or the uh, location of them on disk that's all handled by the engine and loading is exactly the same uh, so this is a very uh, powerful way to to create um, Firstly, the, the 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 menu system, but it's it's also a nice way to to make the uh, the saves for different settings. Um, and when we uh, open the the game mode, the strange game mode, uh, we just call apply on the uh, save on the graphic save here, which applies all of these settings. Um, so it goes through and executes all of the console commands, which then applies the resolution, the temporal aliasing, uh, sorry, temporal, <laughs> temporal anti-aliasing, and, and, and all the uh, quality settings. So that's the estranged menu as it is. Uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, development blog video.